Hey, I'm Hunt, and this is Hunt on LSU, your channel for LSU Fighting Tiger football talk. Enjoy the video. We want you to leave a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe right below the video. Enjoy. We'll start with LSU football here at the top of the show. I wrote a story on LouisianaSports.net, and this is one of those, and I tell you all about this all the time. I just kind of have an idea and start climbing down a rabbit hole, and I feel like seven times out of ten, the idea that I have is confirmed by stats. Sometimes I dive in and I go, oh, that was really wrong. Like the numbers don't suggest what I was looking at. It happens in, in every sport that I cover, football, basketball, baseball. Like it, it happens all the time. But today I thought, you know, I, I've kind of exhausted all of LSU's content they've presented to us this week. Brian Kelly only met with the media twice. There were no player interviews. The last game is five days in the rearview mirror. Like, What's five, six days in the room? You're like, what What do I want to talk about? And I kind of started thinking about offensive balance because we know that LSU has thrown the ball very successfully this year, and we know they have struggled at times to run the ball. I wouldn't call the running game a disaster, but I would suggest they've had their issues trying to sustain the, the ground game. And then I thought even further, I went, well, let's see. Let's go look at every first down that LSU's had this entire season. Okay, I can do that. So, so I did. It's only five games. I can go through five games worth of every first down. Because second down, you're beholden to whatever happened on first down. If you get a holding penalty and you're backed up and all of a sudden you've got second and 18, like you're going to throw the ball a lot. And on third down, you're pretty much entirely dictated on down and distance at that point what you're going to do. But first down, you've got the full deck of cards at your disposal. You can do whatever it is that you want. And in my head, when I sat down and started this exercise, I was going... I bet LSU's thrown the ball way more on first down than they've run it. And I bet they've had more success throwing it than running it on that down. But I didn't know. Like, I haven't charted that one second all year. I haven't looked at it for a second. It's not something I usually have time to do for the post-game show that's 30 minutes after the game ends, and it's just not something I've done during this time slot. So I thought, let's, let's go do that. So I did. And I was a little surprised... And it's been a month and change, so you realize that your memory's not perfect and your 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 recollection of the game's not perfect. But LSU actually ran the ball more times on first down against USC, Southern Cal, than they threw it. LSU ran the ball on 17 first down plays against USC and threw it on 12. Since then, it has been far, far different. In wins over Nichols, South Carolina... UCLA and South Alabama, LSU has had a first down 127 times. I've taken out some snaps that I called garbage time. I really only feel like it applied once once you got up 42-10 to 10 versus South Alabama before you got to the fourth quarter. At that point, I, I scrapped everything because that doesn't really represent what you're trying to do. So I took the, the snaps that I thought were representative. That's 127 plays. Of those 127 plays, 82 throws, 45 runs. 82 throws, 45 runs. You're just about 2-1 to one pass to run. Now, I'm not here to tell you that's a bad thing. Like, I don't want to run the air raid. I don't want to throw it 60 times a game and run it 11. But I realize that the game is drifting towards pass, and you can be every bit as efficient in the passing game as you can in the run game. There are plenty of teams that are winning national championships, winning conference championships, winning Super Bowls, that throw the ball a lot. Tampa Bay with Tom Brady threw the ball a ton. They didn't run it great. Leonard was the running back there, but they had a quarterback that read defense as well. He got the ball out quickly. He led the NFL in, in pass attempts, and they were good throwing the ball. We know the Chiefs lean a lot on throwing the ball. But you've got to strike some balance. And the question is, like, is LSU doing that enough especially on first down. Now, how effective is LSU when they throw the ball on first down? Well, wildly effective. Wildly effective. On those 93 first down passes this season, LSU averages 9.2 yards per attempt. Not completion, attempt. That is incredible. That's third in the country behind Ole Miss and TCU. Now, we are early in the season... So just for the sake of conversation, let's let's remove the 71-yard swing pass 
to Caden Durham on the first play against South Alabama. Just for discussion purposes. It was a great play. Great call. Had the right guy in there. The downfield blocking was awesome. You had the fastest guy on the field with the football. You scored a touchdown. I'm not saying that doesn't count. But let's just say, well, are you skewing things because you had a 71-yarder right out of the chute? Well, really not. Because if you take that play away, LSU is still averaging 8.6 yards per pass attempt on first down this year. They're incredibly efficient in completing balls. You know that Garrett Nussmeyer leads the country in completions. And when they spread the field out on first down and attack, they've done exceptionally well. So what's the story on the other side? How are they doing when they run the ball? Well, LSU's averaging 5.4 yards per rush on first down. That's not amazing, but it is 58th in the country. It's not terrible. And then if you want to go, okay, wait a second. I remember last week, Caden Durham's 86-yarder was on first down. Is that skewing things? Because if you got a bunch of four- and six-yard runs, and then you throw an 86-yarder in there, it may throw things out of whack. And it does move it significantly more than when we took the swing pass out on passing. It does change the math a little bit. But still, if you take the 86-yarder out, LSU's averaging 4.3 yards per carry. That's plenty good enough against SEC opponents. And if you're going, well, they played Nichols, they played South Alabama, UCLA's not very good. Like, that four yards of carry is not any good. Well, that's fine, and I don't disagree that I'd like to run it for more than four yards of carry against some of those lesser teams. But if you just take the South Carolina game and just take that box, South Carolina is sixth in the conference in run defense, and on first downs, LSU ran for 5.2 a carry. So... They did a good job running the ball in South Carolina as well. You remember Caden Durham in that game? Bounced off some tacklers, got upfield, hit a couple of chunk runs, and was was very, very good. So all this is to say this is a week in the bye week where you can you can self-scout and you can look at your tendencies and you can maybe take a chance to come away from the game plan and dealing with how you want to match up against that safety or what that nickel guy does or how you got to block that rush in and you're dealing with those 11 to 15 guys that you're really worried about on the defense and you can look at yourself internally for a little bit. And I would suggest analyzing by the numbers, I'm okay with LSU throwing it 2-1 two to two to one on first down. You get to 3-1, to one, I'm not thrilled about that. If I look at the rush numbers and you're running for 1.8 yards per carry on first downs because you just simply can't do it, that's not any good. If you're giving up a bunch of sacks on first down because teams are flying up the field coming at you, well, she's not doing that. They're not giving up sacks on any down. So to me, as I look at this, my as I initially set out to do, what were they? What are they doing on first down? And as I look at it, they've been very, very good on first down. And because they've been very, very good on first down, there's a product to that. And it's third down. And we all know how vital third down is. Well, LSU is 13th in the country in third down conversions. Why? Because you're awesome on first down. They got to keep trying to run it. Keep doing so at three, four, five yards a pop with an understanding that, hey, if we spread the field with three wide receivers and a tight end and we put a running back back there and our tackles go to work, our quarterback is going to complete as many of those quote-unquote, easy first-down throws as we can give him. He's as good as anybody in the country at that. So I didn't uncover a problem here. I didn't cover a massive tendency. I didn't uncover an underlying issue that hasn't been exposed yet, in my opinion. I think you just see a preference, something that's pretty modern, playing to your strengths and extreme efficiency on first down. And that was basically the premise of what I wrote on LouisianaSports.net and what I've kind of talked to you about here. I like LSU's offense a lot. I think it can evolve and get better. I think as you add Chris Hilton into the mix and as you get C.J. Daniels up to speed a little bit more, that it gets even better than it is right now. But I like where LSU's defense sits on first down and conversely third down. And in that way, you're one of the better, more efficient offenses in the conference and, and hopefully in all of college football. Just a look inside the numbers there, LSU on first downs. Hey, thanks for watching Hunt on LSU. Before you get out of here, do us a couple of favors. Hit that like button, leave your comments below, and subscribe to the channel for all your fighting Tiger football talk. See you next time.